Hi Leo, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Um, actually, the tarot tarot is over on Vimeo. Please join me to extend this message after um, over in the extended. That's where your romance specific reading is too. It's two readings in one. But this is your weekly tarot card reading, um, Leo. And whew, so we're starting off with Lenormand and I'm looking at it and I'll show it to you. Um, there's just a lot of a lot of pain, pain and suffering from anxiety that you're having inside of you, especially if you're a man. If you're dealing with a man, there's a lot of pain and suffering um, from him being caused by him. And I think there's also clouds. The clouds, when it comes to something like this, is more. It's almost like you're 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 escaping to confusion because you don't want to know something that you already know. So there's anxiety associated with something that hurts a lot and you're trying to not think about it or you're trying to um it's almost like you're it's almost like you're saying, "Well, I don't I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't know where this is going. I don't I don't know." And you do know. Like there's definitely a certainty, a level of certainty, but you don't want the clarity right now. There's just a lot of anxiety. Now it could be about somebody that you care about as well. It doesn't have to be you. It's just you're experiencing some form of anxiety, whether it be with somebody that you're dealing with or you yourself. Um, and then there's this like almost selective confusion. Now, um, there's clarity happening all around you, which is why I think you're fighting against the grain to not be clear. Um, but clarity is here for you. And there's definitely a sense that, um, making peace what you, with what you already know. So let's get into the reading. Leo, 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 Leo. Oh, this is really interesting. Okay, this is, to, I love, see, you gotta, you gotta hang on, man. You gotta keep watching the video, right? Um, I, this, this is really interesting. Opportunity knocks, go for it. This card completely changed everything that, the meaning, and that's why you have to keep watching the video to like see the meaning as it changes because now there's a sense of maybe something wasn't clear. And now I understand that, something is clarifying or um maybe you're not clear about a specific thing but it doesn't it necess and you're feeling anxiety about it but it isn't necessarily a bad thing opportunity knocks go for it go for it go for it okay um and then we have peacock raise your standards um okay you know what i think now there's almost a sense of an Others, uh, other signs have been do, getting this as well. There's almost a sense of you're feeling anxiety because, um, because you, you feel you're stuck. Like, like, like you feel like I'm not going to get, I'm not going to get another opportunity like this. I'm not going to get another opportunity like this. And so I'm not going to get another opportunity like this, <laughs> you know, that kind of sense. And so I have to decide quickly, but there are still a lot of decisions that you have to make. Let me help you and clarify it a little bit for you. Opportunity is coming. Don't settle on the one that you don't want because you think that's the only choice you're going to get. This does not have to be just about love and romance. This could be about a job, a position, a deal, something that's been put on the table. Um, remember both, uh, yeah, yeah, something that's been put on the table. Remember Mercury is in retrograde. So it, it is a time that you have to really start reading over things and looking over things, looking over um, uh, just possibilities, potential. Um, yeah. Um, and I, like I, Fear can get you, man. Fear can get you. There's something here that says raise your standards. Opportunity knocks, but raise your standards. So just because opportunity is knocking, number one, you don't have to take it, right? And number two, it's almost like, do you see this faint face right in front of her? Raise your standards. Don't try to convince yourself that something is there when it's not. Okay. Let's keep going for this, Leo. I don't want to say too much. Okay. Leo, can you uh, clarify, please, Spirit? 
Children is the first card that came up, so it could be something regarding your children or that have children in the middle of it, especially if this is a family situation. Um, it could even be about having children and how you feel about having children. Uh, then we have moon. There has been hidden emotions. Maybe you not really telling somebody how you feel or them not telling you how you feel. And then exceptionality. Um, yeah, uh, I don't really know. Um, exceptionality is, is being you and letting other people say what they will, but somebody, people seeing that you're exceptional, almost somebody recognizing your exceptionality. Um, no, but this is the moon. So something was hidden. It's almost like you're not really seeing a specific aspect of somebody. For some reason, they tried to hide it from you. I don't know if there's a conflict here, a discussion around children, not wanting to have children, et cetera, et cetera, whatever it is. There's something that you are surprised about and maybe you didn't, we weren't able to come out and say, well, that really shocks me about you. And in doing so, you're, you're settling. You're settling for something that you don't really want thinking that you have to because you've gone this far. I don't think that's true ever. Shouting, something's going to come out. This is about saying what's on your mind and telling the truth. Um, but you, but it is also an acknowledgement that you have been holding back. So um, it's time to be heard is what this card is saying. And then dogs, loyalty. Um, um, yeah, okay, loyalty. Loyalty is all about being true to A, first of all, the truth. That's what loyalty is. It's the truth, being true, staying true. Um, staying true to somebody you may... Um, have held back in some ways like you haven't really said how you felt or showed support for somebody maybe you were afraid to be associated with them or something like that but uh that's the, or or didn't want people to know you were associated with them this is about you have to let it out you have to show loyalty show where your loyalty lies it's time to commit at least commit yourself to what you're doing what you're actually involved in instead of sort of um just trying to play both sides right now it's just not it's not it's not it's, it's not the time to do that there's a lot of uncertainty here and this uncertainty needs clarification um we have i am connected more children um this could be you're not telling your children something um, that, that could also be what's going on. Um, you, you haven't, you haven't really said anything maybe because it's not something that you want to really discuss or, uh, it, it's got something to do with children. You're either not talking about children or not talking to children. There's something here about holding back, doing it for the children. You care about the children. You're concerned about the children. Um, you love the children. You want to protect the children, um, or you want children and you haven't told somebody or said something about it. I think this is going to be kind of a surprise um, at the very least, um, but there is a demonstration of I have to stand up for what what I am, what I believe in. You ha like you have to you have to stand by your truth, you know, and not and not allow yourself to settle for less than that. Leo, what needs to come out? The truth needs to come out. That's the truth, Leo. 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 Leo, temptation, um, yeah, it's like being held back by your own base self, and then in the past, we have hope, we have material harvest, hope, um, positive movement forward, and suffering, and silence, and this is all turned upside down, what does that mean, there's no more of this, like all, all of this could be causing anxiety. What you wanted kind of fell through. What you had hoped to be something, um, you know, the way that you'd originally seen something turned out to not be so. And then this is a sense of positive motion for being stuck, feeling like you were stuck in the situation, um, feeling like you had to make something work when it wasn't. And in a lot of ways, uh, you had been feeling that for a while and been keeping it in. This is in reverse says you're not keeping it in anymore. This is definitely being honest and coming clean, not necessarily to the public, but to people that are close to you or your family. Temptation is here. There has been, um, um, there's, there's, it's been really um, tempting to, like this is your key to success. This is also your key, the truth, the true answer, not wanting to see it, maybe getting involved in or engaged in things that are 
tempting you, tempting you away from, tempting, tempting you away, tempting, 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 getting you away, pulling you away because you don't, like, you don't want to know something or, um, this could also be a base cause of it. Temptations really fucked you up. Um, they, they really like kind of did you wrong giving, it could it be something that you blame yourself for? In other words, something that at the base core, you think I could have prevented this from happening, but it's my own temptations that messed this up or somebody succumbed to their temptations. And really, I don't think you can forgive them for it or that vice versa. Um, somebody is walking away. Um, it's time to leave. It's time to go. It's time to put the past behind. Somebody is saying goodbye. This card is saying goodbye. And I think that a lot of people are chasing after you. They don't, They uh, like, it's not, um, it's not po a popular decision for you to walk away. Um, this could also be, I said, like your family, your friends. This could be having to do with your job. This is coming up in the past. This is unexpected advice or guidance. Guidance where you didn't think it would come from. Um, also, maybe there's some sort of anger that somebody took this advice from this unexpected place when they didn't know it and they hadn't vetted, hadn't vetted the quality and why did they listen to this person? It's almost like there's still anger and frustration and real suffering around everything that was happening because uh, you feel like maybe... Um, somebody took advice that they shouldn't have because it was against you and against against you, against what you wanted, but it was for somebody else. And it, it, it really feels convoluted. <laughs> um, that's what it does. And then in the, in the future, there's a sense of happiness and joy being surrounded, just like living in the moment, being surrounded by friends, um, being um, be, feeling feeling free or feeling liberated, um, feeling strong. Okay. Okay, I don't know what's going on, Leo, but we're going to keep digging in. Leo, please, Leo. Leo, please, Leo. Um, listen to your heart. You went against your heart. Or somebody went against their heart. Um, somebody went against their heart because of some sort of shady advice that they took. Um, and um, I think really kind of fucked themselves up in, in the process. Like that's kind of what this is. Um, and then we have, I am blessed trying to figure out now where the blessings are um, and trying to find your faith again, because for some reason it's challenging. Um, God, I, I hate this energy for you guys. I am so sorry that this is such a crazy time for you. Um, 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 I keep saying, um, um, I believe that Saturn, no, I think Saturn, no, no, not yet. I have to see Saturn's position with the sun. Um, the sun is in Gemini. Um, there's a lot of reassessment here. And I think that's what's happening. So this may not even all be current, right? This could just be like reassessing, um, going back and thinking, how could I have done things differently? Which is good in a Mercury retrograde. Normally I don't, recommend it because it's like the past is the past you can't change it but you're not really trying to change it are you you might be going through all of this in your head trying to understand understand for something a beautiful opportunity that is it is in front of you now and you don't want to make the same mistakes again you don't want to make you don't you just don't want to um and so don't make the same mistakes again um and 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 this is what you're you're focused on is you're focused on not making the same mistakes again um and maybe that's what this is it's just like traveling back in time in your mind not to torment yourself but because you don't want to make the same mistake again and that's really important and now you're starting to count your blessings so once again this reading is shifting if you love this reading so far um please like this video and share this video on your social media platforms. Also subscribe to the channel below and then click that bell and select all notifications. I upload Leo along with Cancer and Virgo every single Friday before 6 a.m. Los Angeles time. Um, um, 
Yeah, this is, I think, reassessing, trying to, un like, reassessing your blessings, feeling blessed, feeling good, but looking back, you don't want to keep making the same mistakes, and you've acknowledged that in some ways you did, and it could have been character flaw, uh, weaknesses, fears, you are in a situation where you feel good, and you don't want to make the same mistakes, so there's a little bit of, there's, there is definitely anxiety, but at the same time, there is hope right? Because look what's coming out in the future. This is just enjoying life and, and like, and things kind of like picking up. Um, let's see, Leo, time to go. It's time to, it's time to let yourself move forward. You don't have to rush forward, but it is time to let yourself move forward because that's where the card's coming out. Time to go. You know, it's time to leave this shit behind you. It's time to let the past be the past um, and and think, well, what can the future offer me? And look at this once again, two times now. I am blessed. I am blessed. Leo, this is turning out to be, I was really getting scared for you guys, but this is beautiful. This is almost like you get where you came from and it's almost like you're doing that 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 exercise of looking back to see how far you've come and to appreciate what you have right now all the more because you had to survive a lot and there was a lot of things right a lot of things and i'm not pointing blame you're not pointing blame but there was a lot of things and now it's almost like i feel good about my life because i can see i i can see what i have all that i have very clearly um thinker you're thinking about things. You're contemplating things. And to be fair, you're, you're contemplating things for the sake of balancing yourself out. And also to be fair to somebody else. Um, okay, wow. This is really beautiful. This is really beautiful energy. I, I like that we didn't stop, right? I really do. I like that we didn't stop. Um, Leo, please join me over on my Instagram feed. I go live Monday through Friday, and we can actually interact there. Um, uh, you can find me at born underscore without underscore boundaries over on Instagram. Um, okay. Sapphire. Easy does it. Your health, happiness, and abundance require a gentle approach to work and life. Okay. Um, Angelite, spiritual or religious community, join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. This isn't just like joining a church or a religion. It's really got nothing to do with that. It's finding your tribe and finding the people who encourage the best of you or rediscovering them because maybe you went through a lot of strife and a lot of shit and you separated yourself in some ways. Now it's like coming back into... Uh, what makes you feel good. And it could have had something to do with having to open up and tell people what's going on. Maybe you were afraid to address it. Um, go slowly and move at your own pace, right? Um, and then we have clear quartz. Let yourself feel all your emotions and don't judge them. Like let them come out. Um, your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. Let yourself sparkle and shine. You are guided to be bold and show the bigger than life side. Your bigger than life side to the world. After you clear this out. So after you clear out your energy, let yourself feel what you feel. It's like you're trying to get yourself back before you give yourself over to somebody else, even if it's your family, but definitely, definitely if it's, if it's a public situation, you're trying to get yourself back before you sort of give over to anybody, to anybody else. And that's what you're doing. And you're taking your time before you make this announcement, which it took you time to be at peace with. But now there is a sense of peace knowing that there is a connectivity to a happy future, okay? Um, let's go into your animal totem cards. They're really important because this is the way that the universe uses the natural world to try to connect with you and communicate with you. So Leo, um, pay very, oh, no. 
be very close attention to what's happening or going on when you see these signs, these symbols, or these animals themselves. Wombat fell into my dog's water bowl. And that's why I was like, no, be at home. It's interesting that it fell into the water. And it's interesting that this comes over here. I feel like you're going back home or you need to feel like you're back with your tribe or you're getting back with your family. So even though there might have been some confusing stuff happening, it's gonna feel really good that you have their closeness um, or you've repaired the closeness with your family. Uh, time to collaborate. So you don't have to go through this on your own. It's also a time to get together. You may be starting a new relationship, starting a new partnership, starting a new business. I think this is just about togetherness again. For some reason you had isolated yourself. Maybe you couldn't talk about something, but now um, things are things are coming into your grasp and um, yeah, things are you're able to grasp things and and actually start opening up about them. Watch and wait. You've been very patient. Um, you've been very patient maybe as this relationship grows or as this relationship is growing. Um, um, taking your time and letting it go slow because you wanted to make sure that everything was good, everything was solid. Um, this is take time out. You might have gotten away or been kind of defensive or trying to protect um, protect the situation before the situation is because the situation was vulnerable and you were trying to protect the situation. Okay. Uh, and then slow and steady wins the race. You have a lot of emotional, um, stability, like, like emotional certainty about something here. This is feeling really stable with your feelings. Um, and then we have act as if, yeah, you were trying to hide something, hold something back. Um, um, you just bottom line is it, I don't think it was deceptive as much as protective. I'm not ready to talk about this yet. I want to feel stronger than I do before I unveil something. So what is this big secret? Um, Leo, let's get into your angel messages and then I hope you join me for your extended reading. But let's see. Leo. Leo. These cards are flipping all over the place. Harmony. Okay. Disharmony occurs when we try to resist life's natural flow. Everything has its cycle. Every stage of life has its own unique meaning and purpose. Every day can be harmonious if we want it to be. This is hope. So something had made you lose hope. And it's returning to you. Healing, I, the angel of healing, am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and I will love you for all eternity. Like this is you, once again, I've loved you forever. It's like coming home to let yourself be healed. This is beautiful. It's like finally finding the problem and doing whatever it takes to fix it. Divine intervention. Uh, you may feel frustrated because something stalls or comes to a standstill. Progress seems painfully slow, yet this is a blessing. It is divine intervention at work. When the timing is in perfect harmony, all will come to fruition. That's really interesting. Divine intervention. Oh, there's two more cards that popped out. Miracle, our wings of light surround you and those you love. This current situation is governed by a higher power. The forces of love are at work. All will turn out well. Miracle. It's, I mean, it's just getting more beautiful. Vision, a positive outcome requires a positive vision. Visualize everyone involved in your present situation surrounded by light and love. Make sure to include yourself also. Your love has the power to influence and transform the current events. Okay, so you know that your choices from here on in will determine 
your happy outcome and can determine a happy outcome. I want to get into tarot and go into specifics. Please join me. The link is below. Leo, I'll see you guys over there.